Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling From glen to glen and down the mountainside The summer's gone and all the roses are dying Tis you, tis you must go I must buy Come ye back when summer's in the meadow When the valley's hushed and white with snow Tis I'll be there in sunshine or in shadow Oh, Danny boy, oh, Danny boy, I love you so. We're going to head out to uh, the family and when graveyard in a farm area. And all the flowers are dying, I and, uh, we're standing in the center of town here. Just stand around. You come and find the place where I am lying. And well, there's Neil in front of Glenn. This is where Neil had his first plane in Ireland. I'll be there in sunshine or in shadow. The yard clue in town land in a second. We'll be heading out. There. Some of the uh, art plume areas up in the distance. We're on the road heading to the cemetery. Looking to, towards the Adagul Old Cemetery. Used to be a church on that corner. Panning around. Over in this direction is the Ardclone town land. This land is where my great grandfather farmed. Back around, here's our rented car. Back down along the road. Not sure whether he farmed north or south of this road. Looking over the Ardclone townland, sweeping around, catching part of the old cemetery. Some interesting uh, sightseers across from the cemetery. Well, we're going to go in the cemetery and uh, look up a few of the two graves. Well, well, oh, that's huh? you're smarter than us. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for the information. We'll drive up and take a look at oh, the house. Up at the house, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now this used to be an old shop on the corner across from the graveyard, and Stephen Nicholson, who we just were talking to, farms this land now, and that's his newer house that he built down there. Looking up the road past the shop on the corner and up in amongst those trees is the old uh, home of 
William and Margaret uh, McHugh. We found uh, some of the McHugh uh, graves here. This plate here, which Neil is going to read the inscription, which is worn. Uh, go ahead and read the inscription, Neil. O oh Lord, have mercy on the soul of Margaret McHugh. Died January 24, 1879, aged 20 years, erected by her beloved father, William McHugh, for him and posterity. Remember man as you pass by, as you are now. Once was I, as I am, now you shall be. Remember death and pray for me. Oh, thank you, Neil. Good job. These are some other McHughes related to William and Margaret. Looking across at the grave uh, site over towards the, the old store where was it Ryan he said lived there? Ryan? Regan. Regan. The Regan lived there and right through that between those buildings is back to the old homestead. Here we go. Okay. Here's Jim McHugh. James Anthony McHugh from America who has done the research and located the McHugh farm in Ireland, right outside of Dunmore. Nice job, Dad. And Mary Quinn Headstone, I think she was mentioned in some of the records. John Pendergrass, that's what he was talking about. That's the one next to it. That's, that's Mary Ann Quinn. More uh, names of some key people that uh, farm the uh, art zone area. Their great grandson, Martin McHugh, died February 9th. R.I.P. Erected by Thomas McHugh. And I can't read the box. Also, looking at part of uh, <clears throat> Great Grandpa McHugh's farm down this road. We'll drive down a little later on our way to Garafons. But uh, this is some of his farmland in the mid 1800s. Action. <laughs> all right. We need to travel all the way from America. It doesn't get any historical, any more historical than this. I think with all the wind, Neil, you got to repeat that a little closer. Coming all the way from America, it doesn't get any more historical than this. You want to find yourself some good roots in Ireland, we've got the best. This is the 1800s at its finest in Ireland, and we're about ready to head up to the McHugh farm, and we found it. This is uh, looking kind of at the end and back of William and Margaret McHugh's uh, home and some of the farmland. Panning around, obviously. From the road, looking through some of the overgrown uh, 
parts of the old house. Looking through the front little gate. And there's Neil checking things out. Looking in a window. This is my kind of all closed kind of all closed in with trees here. But it looks like a two-story, obviously a two-story. Okay, Neil, let's just check the other side. Here, let me explore first. I got the boots on. Wait a minute, well, I got boots on. Just looking through here. We can probably. Yeah, okay. Oh, listen to the crows. Some of the old buildings, I'm sure that the tin roofs weren't on there. Okay, Neil. Sure things. Right. Stay inside. And another angle from the end as we walk up the road and leave it. Yeah, we found it though. That's pretty monumental. The little wall in front of it with the little gate and looking back down the the road, whatever its and name we just is. Just drove down the road past some of uh, Great Grandpa McHugh's farmland. This is uh, one of the roads that cuts over to Garafons. See the gorse. This is probably bog land. And back around and we're heading towards Garafons. Tell me where they went to school and did their a lot of their business. Close to town. Crossroads. Now this is the town nearest where great grandfather McHugh uh, came from, Garfons. And we'll just check it out. We're going to an Irish guy now. Beautiful. I'm walking around here. They keep the place reasonably tidy. Wrongest <laughs> time of the year, you know. You do a fine job. For taking photographs. Well, thank you for a little of the history on uh, Garfons, Joe. Well, that's, that's the White House. Uh, they call it the White House Washington because it's a big house, you know, for Little Island, as we call it. And uh, then you had a, you have a fellow over here one thing called John Coleman. You had been here before, no? Have you been here before? Not in Garfons. No. No. But John, John, John uh, died and his wife and they left it to the two daughters, so they sold it. And there's a guy called John Vahey. And that's our church. Synagogue, our beautiful church, as we <laughs> call it. And it is beautiful. Go inside and have a look. Yes. Lovely church. We will. Uh, and today is referendum day in Ireland. Big, oh. big decisions to be made. Yes, that's right. Uh, they had a. Uh, they have to be politicians. It's hard to understand from the way we would like to. Most people go to play. Look like we're wrong. This is what. This is what remains of the walls of the old church in Garfons. This is where probably John McHugh, the grandfather, great grandfather, all came came to church here. The new church, the new church is across, across the street. There goes Joe Canny, who we were talking to. That's the new church across the street. And this is the church yard. Overgrown wall. Probably could have been, this may have been the front door of the church.
What you doing there, Neil? Is they thinking, oh yeah, look, water comes out. This must be the town well next to the church, between the church and the old school. There's three pubs in this little town. This is the inside of the new church. And Garfrons. One more. Church lawnmower. <laughs> Beautiful. This is the old uh, ruined church, former Church of Ireland in Dunmore. Just had lunch at Gallagher's right behind me. We're in the uh, Dunmore Cemetery. some more relatives here. So he died, what, 14th September 1962, age 60. Husband, Michael, died February 12th, 1979, directed by her lo loving husband. Hey Neil, we're in the Bridge Street Bar. What'd you do today? We went cemetery walking. It was a lot of fun. There's Jim's Guinness, half drunk. Beautiful spot. Very good. We have a peat fire going here. Main fuel. What's that? Side. No, just just to look and admiring the uh, oh the turf the turf yes the peat great stuff great for the heat what's your name Mary. But working Friday and Saturday, I can only take one week off. Actually, this is season down in Florida. I mean, okay. like, this, we know this is off season. This is a beautiful Neil. island. Yeah, my son Neil just uh, loves these kind of places. And you got a great place here, Christy. Uh, not too bad, no, it's all. I'm going to come back again. I don't know when, but I will come back again. I'm going to come back again. I'm going to come back again. O'Connor's Kilmore House B&B. We're just packing up, ready to move back to Dunmore, and then on to Galway City. Hello, Neil.
continue on. Back to Dunmore.